This video tutorial will demonstrate some of the advanced parameter estimation features in GMS, including Parallel Pest, which harnesses the power of multiprocessor or multi-core systems to do more computations in less time. First, I will read in a modeling project. On the left in the Project Explorer is a ModFlow grid and ModFlow solution as well as map coverages, including the source sink, recharge, and hydraulic conductivity coverages used to define the conceptual model. The observation wells coverage contains a set of observed head values from observation wells. The conceptual model also contains a set of recharge and hydraulic conductivity zones. These zones will be marked as parameters and an inverse model will be used to find a set of recharge and hydraulic conductivity values that minimize the calibration error. Now I will run ModFlow Pest with the current model. Depending on the speed of your computer, this may take a few minutes. The model finished and it took 8 iterations. Now I will run the model with the Singular Value Decomposition or SVD option turned on. The SVD process analyzes the parameters that are currently part of the parameter estimation process and removes parameters that are not helping to solve the problem. I'll save this to a new project file. And run ModFlow again. The model is finished. And notice that for this model run with SVD turned on, Pest was able to complete the run with fewer iterations. Let's now take a look at using Parallel Pest with a new project. I'll turn on Parameter Estimation. And turn on the Parallel Pest option. and I'll save this to a new project. And run ModFlow. Parallel Pest will take some time to run two iterations with this model. For each of the pest iterations, ModFlow is run 129 times, which is once for each pilot point that is being estimated. The time required to complete this process depends on the capabilities of the machine being used. In my case, I'm running with an Intel Core i7 desktop processor, which means I have eight cores available for simultaneous processes. The model is finished and completed in a relatively short amount of time thanks to the parallel processes. Let's run PEST one more time, but this time with the SVD Assist option turned on. This process is particularly advantageous for models that have hundreds or thousands of parameters such as pilot points. I'll save a new project and run ModFlow. SVD Assist involves three basic steps. First, PEST runs ModFlow once for every parameter in order to compute a matrix. 
This information is used to create superparameters that are combinations of the parameters originally specified. Second, SVD prep is run to create a new pest control file using parameters specified in the SVD assist options dialog. Third, pest runs using this new control file written by SVD prep. This results in significantly fewer model runs for each pest iteration. And the model has finished. Notice that each pest iteration now only requires 22 modflow runs instead of the previous 129. When pest runs with SVD assist, the parameter values are not written to the .par file because this file contains the values for the super parameters. The base parameter values are written to a .bpa file, and we'll import those now. This concludes this video tutorial of advanced parameter estimation options in GMS. To summarize, GMS now supports the SVD and SVD assist options for PEST. Parallel PEST is also available, which is an exclusive feature of GMS.